hello and welcome to special data hub in this video i'm going to show you how you can measure distances between points we'll see three different kinds we'll see how to measure distance from one point a to another point b we'll see how to measure the average distance between different points in a layer we'll also see how you can measure distance between multiple points in one layer and multiple points in another layer so here i have two layers which I call cities and libraries. To measure the distance between point A to point B, let's say between these two points, there are two tools which I would like to use. On your toolbar, right, on your vector toolbar, right click, you will see under toolbars, you see attributes toolbar. Be sure to check it. Attributes toolbar, then right click again, then you see your sniping tool. Yeah, that's this. The snapping tool. Uh, that's this here. So when you turn on your sniping tool, what it helps you do is that it helps you focus on the points. When you are near a point, it snaps it up to the exact point. So you don't click outside on the point. So if you want to measure your distance between points you see the measure tool this is under your attribute tool bar see measure line when you click on the first one and click on the next you see the distance here you also see the coordinates here the coordinates are the coordinates on your layer so you can always adjust the coordinates of the layer if you want different um coordinates reference system then as many points as you click when you're done if you want to stop here you can right click and then it shows you the total distance between all the points and the distance between their respective points you can always change the the um, units of measurement here to whatever you want then you can copy these coordinates copy these distances it copies with the coordinates and the distance yeah, you can always adjust the settings too. Nothing too serious there too. If you want to adjust them, well, just in case you need them. So that's for measuring from point to point. If you want to measure the average distance between several points, let's say our libraries, want to know what's the average distance between the libraries. Then you go to your processing toolbox, go to processing, click on toolbox, and then you can just search here for nearest neighbor. Nearest. Mine is showing under recently used. I don't want to use that so you can see where I get it from. Under vector analysis, you see nearest neighbor analysis. Double click on it. And then you select the layer which you want to um, analyze. Libraries, right? Yeah then you can always save this to a file it will save to a html file you select your preferred directory i don't want to save mine so i won't do that i'll leave it as a temporary file then for these selected features only if you want to select if you want to assess um, the distance between only a few features like sorry you need to click on the layer Select these three features and you now click selected features only. It now measures the average distance between these three features only. Yeah, but I don't want to do that. I want to measure all the distance. So you can run this and then it provides a link to the result. When you click on it, here you have the distance. The observed mean distance is 16, which is the average distance between points. And then the expected mean distance. <clears throat> the expected mean distance doesn't really make sense to me in this in this case. You can use this um when you're working with um okay, once when I was working on a project where I um set the points at 40 meters apart and then adjusted them differently. Yeah, so the expected mean distance was 40 meters. But the observed mean distance was a little different, a little above that. So that's for average distance between points. 
Then if you want to measure the distance between um, multipoint to multipoint, we want to see where is what's the distance between some of these cities to some of these libraries to from for each of these cities to each of these libraries. Yeah. So we can go to our vector tool on your toolbar. You see an analysis tools. Go to this distance matrix. Distance matrix. So we want to see how the cities are far off from the libraries. Your unique ID, let's leave it as the FID, which is the ID column. So the libraries, also the ID column. For this one, I'll show you the differences. Let's first leave it as linear. When we are done running this, I'll show you what it means. Close this. Right click, open attribute table. Now you see it. Remember our first input ID was cities to libraries. So there are five cities and there are three libraries. So from um, city two to library, no, there are five libraries, right? Yes, there are five libraries and three cities. From city two to library one, this is the distance. From city two to library two, from city two to library three, just like that until library five. And then you have from city three to library one, from city three to library two, just like that, you have their individual distances too. So that is for the linear, right? For the summary, I already did that so that I save your time. For the summary, you're getting the average distances, standard division, average, the minimum, the maximum, like a summary of the data. So from each of these cities, from each of these cities that we have, from each of these libraries now in this case, which I did here was libraries as input data. Input ID was libraries for this case. So you are measuring input ID to cities. So for each library to all three cities, the mean distance is 259 meters. The minimum, uh, the lowest distance, minimum distance is 135 and the maximum is 256. From city three to library, to all three libraries to, yeah. So I believe you get the point. Then um, for the standard, it's a little more different. Yeah, so you just see it in more like a matrix format where you have the cities and the libraries and it shows their distances over it. It's like the first one, but just different presentation. So that will be it for this video. If you have any comments, if you have any challenges, if you have any questions, do not leave a comment on the video and I'll be there to respond. Reach me out on social media through the links on my about channel.